All right, so I'm going to do a quick review here. This is kind of a follow-up to the uh, to the uh, Alien Gear holster review design uh, video that I did a couple months ago, a few months ago, um, where I had some big problems with how it was designed and and uh, and just different aspects about it, and kind of did a redesign of it. So full disclosure, uh, Alien Gear, in response to that video, sent me down. Uh, an example of their shape shift um, holster. So it's a modular holster design. With a couple of turns of these screws here, you can take this and put it on, say, uh, you know, an ankle holster or an inside the waistband, outside the waistband. They have an attachment now, I think, for an appendix carry that's pretty new. Uh, that seems to be where a lot of the stuff is going. Um, but they sent me the example of the uh, inside the waistband, similar to the one that I purchased before with this kind of neoprene backing. Um, a little bit more on the innovation side, they have these kind of innovative clips that you can take off, do 180 degree turn. They sent me a variety of clips. These were the only ones that sort of work. They're a little small for the belt that I run. I run one of these duty belt type deals usually. Um, so they don't quite uh, work with that. I mean, they get enough retention. I can, I can kind of force them on there, and they it does work. Um, but this thing has an adjustable. Let's see if we can see it here. There's an adjustable knob, and I forgot this at home. There's a key or something that you can turn, and that uh, that adjusts your uh, retention. So, and then there's this kind of a. It's really weird. It's like a. It's like the, the holster is kind of open in the back, and so it literally just kind of pivots on that. This front of this holster, I'm guessing this, I'm guessing some of these pieces are modular and used in other designs. I can't really tell. It looks like that's specific for this gun. Like this back panel here is much smaller and more compact. That's good. Um, I think it's still a little bit dumb how this is done right here where it's again the imprint of the gun it doesn't matter so much on the inside the waistband because you don't see it but it's just kind of a wasted idea i think that um you know again this is something that you know it it's sort of you know as an industrial designer it's something i kind of frown on just putting stuff in a design to put stuff in a design i just don't think that's a good idea it doesn't tell the story of the product whatever but uh, it, it does matter when you take the shell off I think and you do it outside the waistband I had a, I mentioned that before how I didn't like how that was done I thought it was just kind of tacky and I think that you know it's it's more like it's kind of like an engineer just thought you know there's some space to fill up and let's put a design on there so I don't like that I still don't like that I think this is dumb um, just putting a, a picture of a gun on the outside of a gun for a holster I just think it's you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of concealed carry. I covered that in the last video, if you saw it. Um, they didn't change that. Um, so, but the fit and finish is, seems to be pretty good. I think, you know, it's, it's a little, I'm still kind of getting used to it. I mean, you know, there's a lot of knobs and levers and, you know, it's a, it's a cool idea. I think it's a cool idea. It seems to work okay. Um, I'm not a big fan a lot of times of products that are trying to be everything to everyone as a product designer when you're everything to everyone you're nobody to no one and that this rides kind of that fine line of being kind of too mechanical but it does work there's just stuff everywhere you know so it is more compact it is more comfortable than the other ones I'll give it that um, it, it's by nature, it can't be th as thin and trim. There's just so many mechanical attachment points and things going on. I think it's trying to do too many things. But um, with that said, it's an interesting concept. I appreciate the fact that they're trying it and the retention seems to be pretty good when, when it's on. So I'm gonna take a couple of shots with it. I'm actually out um, at the property here so I can take a, a cut, you know, a couple, shoot a couple rounds here without uh, anybody caring. So I'm gonna fire off a couple rounds and see how it works. Okay. MMP shield is is uh, one round in the chamber, safety on. So I will have to disengage the safety to fire. Uh, but we're going to see how we can do it. I'm not going to go super fast. I'm not a quick draw person. Um, I like to do it safe, and I haven't really tested this thing out much. So I'm going to check it out and see how it goes. I'm going to go slow.
Okay, so all in all, I took a few shots, went through a couple mags. Um, gun's clear now. Um, and yeah, it seems to be pretty good. The retention seems to be decent. I could probably adjust it a little bit, but it seems to be just about right. Um, you know, it conceals pretty good um, overall and pretty low profile, um, pretty easy to draw. I have it set on the medium position where the, the belt clips where it's sticking out, sticking the gun up a little bit higher, but it seems to be drawing pretty well. I haven't, didn't have any hang ups. I kind of went slow at first just to see. I didn't want to, you know, make sure it was working okay. Um, but we will see. It's these things aren't very easy to take on and off the old old style kind of pancake holster like this is the hybrid style they take a while to put on like the new appendix carry i have a little tiny holster i've been using this this thing for a while and you just slide it in done but if you if you take the time to uh, put this on it's really comfortable i mean i can't you know now that i have it on for a little bit it's like you know it's really comfortable and you know it's got a really nice soft uh backing on it rather than leather and it's hot out here too so it seems to be doing pretty good for that. So, um, yeah, it's not bad. So um, I think the second gen or the one, the, the shape shift is probably worth it if you're into this kind of thing, if you really wanna maximize your ability to, to change things around, you know, you'd have to, I don't know about putting stuff on backpacks or whatever, that's kind of how they're, they're pitching it. But a lot of people seem to like it. You know, I have my own opinions on stuff, but um, it seems to work well in this configuration, which is all I have to test off of. So. Um, you know, as you can see, I went through several mags, smooth, easy to do, um, no big deal. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely, um, those things are huge. They come land on you, click bugs. So I'll probably put this in my rotation of holsters to use. Um, it seems to work pretty well. I wanted to get out here in the woods where I could test it out and, and, uh, see how it worked, you know, firsthand. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you on the next one.